live. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm gonna do a nice, loose, shaggy-esque cut on the wonderful Lena. So we pre-section the hair out, top, sides, back. The idea is, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer the back to create uh, a little bit more movement throughout. Then we'll move into the sides and then we'll move into the top. And uh, I'm gonna keep the hair kind of nicely prepped with Hydro Mist. And then we're gonna work very cleanly. So we got a razor class coming up this weekend and uh, it's going to be a two-day class here in my New York Academy in Soho, so that should be a lot of fun. There's still a couple of spots left if anyone's interested. It's a special price because uh, it's the first Academy class of the year, usually an $800 class. We have some spots available for $600. If you want to improve your game with the razor, Come and learn with me. The first thing you're gonna find out is you're gonna work really cleanly. You have to work really cleanly so that you can map out your comb. I'm gonna use a white comb so you can see more clearly how I cut. Hydro Mist is a great prep look product for working through the hair. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb this hair straight back. As we comb this hair straight back, we're gonna layer it to put a little bit more movement throughout and keep the length. And then I'll come through the length at the end. So I'm gonna choose my length right here, just around this point here. And I'm using the side flat of the blade to just melt that hair away. Fine teeth of the comb. Comb that hair straight back so that it's literally uh, parallel to the floor. So it's a horizontal, comb the hair straight back. And we're not gonna be taking any of the length out. We'll save the length till the very, we'll save the length till we've worked on the, on the internal layering. I'm using the side piece of the blade. And that's gonna be my guide. Just let me look through it one more time. It's getting slightly longer towards the bottom. Clean that up, fine teeth off the comb, so you get a nice smooth control and a nice smooth section. Section two, I comb this back, hair back into section one. So the classics here, and you are gonna be looking for the guide, I don't know, can you see that Kate? Do you see the mm -hmm. line there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So as we comb this hair back, I feel the hair disappear between my fingertips and then I use the side of the blade to just melt that hair away. Always combing in towards the center and that creates for the right combing and the right body position. And uh, we have a saying, cut hair, not corners, which means you wanna cut it really nicely and in a very controlled fashion. Section three. So we're gonna comb this hair all the way into section two, not all the way back into the center. And again, we're just gonna lightly melt that hair away with the razor. So our two day, our two -day class going up on Sunday starts Sunday at 10 o'clock, each day is 10 to four and uh, it's hands-on all day. No demonstration. All of our classes now as we uh, have started to evolve as a brand, all of our classes literally are hands-on. So we maximize the time when you're in the, in the academy with us. You'll notice I'm doing just a little bit of tipping into the hair too just to create some softness. Tipping is where we use the top of the blade, top of the blade, uh, the tip of the blade, and that just helps to take out a little bit more bulk. And again, really look for your guide. You see it and you feel it. Combing the hair in, back to the previously cut section, 
and just melting that hair away. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to be in Chicago. If anyone's looking, I'm my friend Alex. He's got a great salon there, Trio. They've been a staple part of the Chicago business world, hairdressing market, for 20 plus years. So I'll be heading to Chicago because it's his last day of business in his existing salon. He's going to be transferring his business and merging. So I'll be in Chicago next Saturday. So if anyone's interested, come and see me next Saturday for a haircut. It's a Nick's New Day price. That's how we, uh, that's how we do it. I have special pricing when I do a Nick's New Day. And uh, I'd love to cut your hair. And then on Sunday, we're heading off to Charlotte. And uh, we're going to Charlotte and I'm gonna be doing a program called Up Close with Nick, which is a two hour session. Half, it's part business, part American Wave, part haircutting, and a little bit of Q&A too. So very involved, and that's gonna be in Charlotte. Tickets are $35, available on erosiopro.com. So we'd love to see you in Charlotte. And then if you're really interested, on the Monday, we're gonna be doing two classes in the Charlotte market. We are doing an American Wave class, certification which is our texture service and then i will be doing my uh i'll be doing a one day razor pickup class tickets for the one day razor pickup class are 400 dollars. everything is available on erosiopro.com so we've certainly been busy as we get towards the end of the first month like one twelfth of the year is done i can't believe how fast it flies I was just literally in uh, California for the beauty show. So I came back on Monday night on the red eye, straight back to work on Tuesday. No rest for the wicked or the weary. I'm not so sure what it is. And we've got Kate behind the camera. How's it going, Kate? Going good back here. Did anybody turn up to watch? Yeah, we have good morning from Florida, California. Great. We have someone getting their hair cut, watching with their client. Oh, good. Yeah, so feel free to ask questions if you want, guys. Kate's our, uh, she can speak. <laughs> she can talk. So there you go. Now, notice how the hair's not so, so damp. You don't want the hair to be, like, super wet. You just want the hair to be wet to the touch. I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna spin lean around so we can, uh, so I can get closer to my coffee. <laughs> what I'm doing. Keep me going. So you'll see we cut one side next time for to cut the other. Want my little hydro mist here. I'll just keep that moisture in the hair. And you can see one side's been cut and one side hasn't. So this is the cut side. This is the uncut side. I stand on the opposite side of the head now to cut this side. Again, I comb everything in. So this is the first section on her left side. So now let's just work it down with the flat of the blade to create this loose, soft, shattered shape. This is really a square layer with a razor through the back. That's what this is. So use the fine teeth of the comb to really get in. And right here, I'm just gonna tip. That's just using the tip of the blade just to tip through the hair. Fine teeth of the comb gives you greater control, gives you greater tension, great for cutting. The wide teeth of the comb, this is the razor comb, available on erosiopro.com. All of our tools and equipment we sell to the community. And we're coming that back and in. Coming into the previously cut section. And just melt that hair away. We're live in our Brooklyn salon. Our Brooklyn salon opens at noon. Nobody gets up early in Brooklyn. Apart from me, Kate, <laughs> Alina, and my cleaner. We're the only ones. 
We are the only ones. How long have you been cutting hair? I've been cutting hair now for 38 years. I started hairdressing in 1982, before the invention of the iPhone, <laughs> before the invention <gasps> of the internet. I started hairdressing, VHS just, <laughs> just came out. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where were you in 1982, Kate? Oh, I was not born. You wasn't born? Yeah. yeah. Where did you grow up? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Casino, Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so a lot's changed over the 38 years in the hair business. And uh, I've been doing it a long time. You know, I say it's not a job, it's a career. And you can take your career anywhere. Of course, you can take it overseas. People have hair. Wherever there's hair, there's always work for somebody that's got talent because everyone's always looking for a good hairstylist. That's for sure. So really just get to feel. I feel the intention of every stroke of the razor. So as I come through, now right here, I'm just gonna tip in, it's like sculpture. Yeah, it's like a sketch. It's not like a line drawing. So cutting hair with scissors is more architectural. Cutting hair with a razor is more fluid and soft and loose. Well, good razor cutters usually come from great scissor cutters. Because you really got to understand your technique well. Keep your sections clean. Because I pre-clipped it, I kind of mapped it out. I got the back, the sides, and the top. So I mapped it out so it's easier for me to, you know, create, which I think is, uh, you know, Lena's a super cool girl. She's got a great look, she's got a great image, and she wears, you know, the hair really, really well. So it's a great promotion for me as a hairdresser to have somebody fun and cool and hip. She's got a white furry cat too. The cat, I'm gonna cut the cat's hair one day. <laughs> Yeah, we should do. Uh... What's the cat's name? Trigger. Trigger. You... Trigger the Whoa, cat. Whoa, I love it. You love that, don't you? That's good. Trigger the cat. Famous on the on, online. I'm following you and the cat later. <laughs> I think you should. I think you definitely should. I think you should. Just make sure you can always see your section. You want to get right in, right at the root. Always see your section. We have Happy Mondays coming up this weekend in New York. American Wave Edition. We're doing an American Wave Edition of Happy Mondays, which means we're going to really focus on our texture service. So if you want to come to see and find out about our texture service, American Wave on Monday night at 5.30. We'll be there, and it'll be a lot of fun. And then don't forget, we have our big show coming up in May, a Rojo Expo, which we should need to go. Maybe we'll go today, Kate. Mm. To TWA. TWA. Maybe we'll go today. Might be the perfect day for us to go and have a have an explosion, an exploration. Pauline will be there. Oh, good. Good, it's gonna be amazing. It's absolutely gonna be amazing. It's the 10, ten year anniversary. 10 year anniversary of Erosia Expo. So it should be a lot of fun. Lena's gonna be there, she doesn't know yet, but she is. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna spin around. I've cut both sides. Now I'm gonna do the back. So just, I'll, I'll move this way a little. Okay. So now we're just gonna do the outline. And then uh, we'll drop the sides down. Everything's a surprise here. You see little surprises everywhere, which is cute. It is. What's that one? What's this one? <gasps> it's a star. It's a bunny. <laughs> it's a playboy. All right, so now what we'll do is we're gonna come through the length and we will have to cut the length just a little just to get it perfect. 
So we'll take your nice clean sections. I'm gonna comb that hair straight down. I'm gonna nibble it up. Right there. It's the side of the blade. Just to put the length in. Same thing right here. Side of the blade. I like the razor's, uh, you know, as precise to me as my scissor. The razor's not uh, better than the scissor. It's just different. Gives you a different mental approach. It's a bit like if I was an artist and I was doing, you know, a picture with uh, oil. Or if I was doing a picture with a pencil. Or if I was doing a picture with uh, an aerosol can, spray. It's like the medium just, you know, the fabric's the same what we're doing, the idea is the same, but we've just changed our tools so we get a different effect, a different engagement, a different process. The creative process really happens in the brain and it turns up on the client. Uh, and that's kind of how I work it, yeah? I started razor cutting about 25 years ago. After spending the first 12 years just cutting hair with a scissor. You know, the razor was a, the razor wasn't something that at Vidal Sassoon they appreciated. So we didn't do it, we weren't allowed to do it. But that's kind of what made me, it's like anything you're allowed to do makes you want to do it even more. So I think that, you know, in the 90s, hair became a little bit looser. The designs became a little bit more, uh, organic and delicate, whereas in the 80s, everything was a lot tighter. So the razor really kind of started to be something that intrigued me in the 80s. So, and then I started working with it in the 90s. Just picked up my scissor, just because they were there, I just want to clean that up just a little. And so what kind of cuts Lena getting today? This is a, like a layered shag. We've got some bangs to cut, we're going to layer the sides next, and then we'll do the top. And that's what we're going to do. Soft, we've done quite a few different styles in Lena throughout the years. She's had very clean, sharp things, and this is a little bit more soft and loose. It's a different approach. Just check that balance, pull it in. The Hydro Mist is a great product, it gives the hair just that little bit more lifting. Texture. Alright, let's go into the sides. So now what we'll do is I'll come through here. Let's drop this side down. Again, I'm just gonna add a little bit more moisture before I do the cut. I'm gonna go from the back to the front. So right now I'm gonna take a section so. Nice. Comb this hair back. And there's the guide right here. And we're just going to get that blade moving and just gently melt it away. All the razors are available on rojopro.com. This is a feather plie razor out of Japan. Disposable blades. All the razors come with a guard, which is good because that gives you the safety for people that are playing with these sharp objects for the first time. You can also download or you can get a subscription to Orojo's Education online and the subscription will give you over a hundred techniques to practice. So just combing this hair back. Delicate around the air. Practice great combing. After I go to Charlotte, which is February the 9th and 10th, the following weekend I'm heading out to California. So I'll be back in California and I'm doing a, two different classes on razor cutting. One is going to be in Pasadena. And the other class is going to be in San Diego. So if you want to do a pickup razor class with me, 
going to be three haircuts. <coughs> it's good if you have a little bit of razor experience, although it's not imperative, but we're going to do three cuts in six hours. So that's the lesson. It's going to be not fundamental razor cutting. It's going to be a little bit more, uh, hopefully, seasoned razor cutting. But if you have no experience, you can certainly come and see me because I can do that too. I can definitely, I can still teach you, even though it's a little bit more advanced. So I've come straight to the front because I've got to get it right. I'm just going to add a little bit more hydro right in here. It's going to really help the, 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 the razoring. So I'll take that corner out. I might take more out later. But for now, I'm just gonna take that corner out so I can see how cool her makeup is. See how good that is. So good. Yeah, you like that? Do you do it yourself, you know? She does. She's cool, man. Take it, the cat did it. You wanna see him? He's a makeup artist. <laughs> Fashion week's coming, Kate. Are you ready? Oh, God, when is it? Starts in about a week, doesn't it? I think I am ready this time. You're ready this time? Yeah. New York Fashion Week. So just a little tip right the way through. I like to kind of get a feel for the work as I go. So what I mean by that is it's like I, I don't move on until I'm happy. I'm happy with certain elements. So I don't move on until I'm happy with the elements. There's no point. So you don't want to kind of think, oh, I'll fix it later. There's no fixing later. What you do is you've got to cut it well first. You've got to cut it well and don't move on until you're happy. So it's feeling pretty good. I'm looking through the hair for density, just to take out a little bit of softness. Kind of looking through the softness. And then just allow the hair to move so you can see what it, what it does and how it falls. And then what you should do at this point, is drink some more coffee. <laughs> You're looking at your coffee cake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Morning, Brooklyn. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> All right, so now let's drop this side down. They, that got us some hearts. They liked that. Did? Yeah. <laughs> Sections working from the back to the front. Scooping out. You can see the hair fall away behind. It's a nice open razor. If you plan on coming to New York City for the International Hair Show, I think it's changed its name now from the IBS to something else. Uh, we've been very active in the trade show circuit over the last 10 years, but this uh, we're not going to be doing the New York trade show this year. But we do have a special event, which is uh, a really exciting event, and it's called a Rojo Underground. So I would, if I were you, if you are coming, definitely check out a Rojo Underground. It's uh, going to be in our Tribeca location, and it's going to be a series of different inspirations from the talented team and the cast of characters that we have here on the Erosio brand. And we'll probably invite a couple of our ambassadors to, uh, to do also some guest spots. So it's kind of a creative exploration or a creative freedom where we're showing what we think is cool and we get to experiment. So it's a little bit more avant-garde. It's called Erosio Underground. It'll be $35, and it'll be available on Arojo Pro. I don't know if it is yet already. Do you know if it is, Kate? It, it is. is. Which one? Arojo Underground. Actually, I have not seen that one yeah, yet. Well, you it's just made the flyer, so... We'll get on that today. We'll get on that today. It'll be at 7 o'clock on the Sunday night, which means that you'll be finished early enough if you want to go out and dance and do stuff. But we're also going to have our own after party. Did you say yeah? <laughs> Shlady daddy. Kate likes the party. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Rice says, as a hairdresser, don't ask us to do your hair before our morning coffee. 
<laughs> well, that's right. That's In why I needed my little coffee. Yep. What day is Arojo Underground? Sunday night. Which, what date? Uh, it's the date of the IBS show. Okay. I believe the IBS show is uh, maybe March. So it's around March time. It's changed its name now. It's not the IBS show anymore. Because it's like a horrible name, isn't it? <laughs> the Irritable Bowel Syndrome show. So they changed the name. So, nice open stroke. Look at that, how open that stroke is. And you can see through what I'm doing. And I can feel every intention in the cup. And I go with my wide tooth comb as well to comb the hair. Allow the hair to move. Let's transition into the back here. Just make sure we like that. Again, you're always looking with your eyes to see if it's all working. Thank you, Karen. March 8th. March 8th. Yeah. Okay, so we've kind of got the foundation done. Now it's time to drop it like it's hot. Let's pull down the top. So we've taken our classic horseshoe section here. What I'd like to do, I'm gonna come this all the way forward gonna go in with the bang bang she shut me down bang, bang. I wish I could add that track right now why don't you, you can't do it can you I could I'm, I mean <laughs> You're creative. not at the speed that I would prefer not at the speed that you'd <laughs> like to make it yeah like <laughs> whenever you've had the hair clipped up comb it out and around I noticed there was some chewy sharp bits around the front here I think Tiger the cat had a nibble. Did you say trigger? Tiger, trigger. <laughs> Tiger, Tiger, we've heard. What's his name? <laughs> trigger. Trigger, trigger. Trigger, trigger. So I'm taking a uh, quite a deep uh, triangle now. So I can work the bangs in. And I've got these two triangles either side. Let's do the bangs first. I'm going to put all that into the bang to make it look more substantial. Make sure you focus on the comfort of your client too. You know, so when you spray in, make sure your spray's light. Spray the face. You know, try and keep it as comfortable as possible for your client makes a difference that way so I'm not gonna go shorter than that right now I'm gonna kind of work to that pre-existing I'm working with a straight blade and I'm around the face so be very meticulous notice when the blade goes in the blade is uh, most of the blades away from the face Section one, let's take section two, right here. Come that hair forward. Because the hair's been clipped up, make sure that you don't encourage the hair to do something that it doesn't want to do. Come through here. Just work that hair down. Lena, are you around in the, at the beginning of, at the end of February? Are you traveling anywhere? No. So we need, we're gonna do a photo shoot. You wanna do it? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Good. So some of the models that you've seen me cut on uh, Brooklyn Live, I'm gonna be photographing. So we'll get some new pictures. And Kate's gonna make some videos. Oh yeah. Oh, you have a lot of tattoos on your hand, Kate. I do. Is that like your thing? Yeah, my rule for myself is fingers and feet, and that's the only place that I can put tattoos on. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So such a, such a tough 
ruin it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, you can't tattoo anything but my fingers and my feet. <laughs> my little toes. Uh, toes? I don't have any toe ones yet. That's an idea. Yes, I told you so. <laughs> okay, section here. Fine teeth of the cone. Pre-existing area, and let's place that in. So I'm coming down on the hair. Lots and lots of strokes to create lots of diffusion. Yeah, I want lots of diffusion here in the in the bang. I want the hair to move, and I'm making sure that we're making it strong enough and yet soft enough so that it's fluid. I want to thank everybody for coming to see me in. Uh, Long Beach for class. I had a classic cutting class and then I had a razor class. So it was really nice to be, uh, to be on the West Coast. Looking forward to going back again. How do you cut stubborn bangs? Uh, stubbornly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, you've really got to focus on understanding how to focus in on what kind of a bang you want. I say all the time that the bangs are misunderstood by many people. They don't cut them far wide enough. Their approach can sometimes, it changes the features of the face if they're, if they're cut correctly. And it's what your client always sees. The client doesn't see the back, she sees the front, yeah? So really master that. Again, it's all down to classic haircutting. Everything that I've learned, everything I do is just basic classic haircutting. Classic precision-based technique. I worked at Vidal Sassoon as a young man, young and skinny. I remember the days well. And I, uh, and I learned how to master precision-based hair cutting with a scissor. And then that was the foundation that's helped me throughout my entire career. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good Looking now. so pretty. What about Lena? Lena is. Oh, I thought you saw about me. <laughs> <laughs> just over there, there, there. Just, this is the tip. And notice how I come up with the white teeth of the comb. Keep it soft and loose. I'm not trying to force it too heavily. Just one more time. Learn when to stop, too. Sometimes you keep cutting. I mean, I like to. My haircuts I like to do in about 30 minutes. If I take too long, I get bored. There's like so much passion and, and emotion you can have when you're being creative. So, you know, it's like not taking it slowly. All right, so we'll let that now start to, you know, we can always cut more off, you can't stick it back on. So now what we'll do is we've got these two panels right here. So these two panels are gonna connect into the, into the back. Central section here. And uh, I'll just show you what that panel is, so you can see what I'm going to cut. It's kind of the remainder of the horseshoe, which is this area here, this wing. So I'm going to come from the back, I'm going to rotate around. So from the back, and uh, I can cut up with a razor. That's the other nice thing with a razor, you can cut down or you can cut up. When you cut up, you push the hair up. When you cut down, you take the hair shorter on the top. So I'm just gonna pirouette these sections around, over direct them back. This is what I've already cut here. This is what I've not cut here. So now I'm just gonna marry that together. We have a question from Sherry. Yeah. She says, how many sections did you have throughout the bangs and do you always use your tipping technique? Uh, I used my tipping technique to soften and my sections through the bangs were like three and three. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's pretty much how I do it. Of course, it all depends on density. Oh, look, you'll see this is the piece that's not been cut. So I'm gonna come from the underneath. Now razor cutting is visual and it's very kind of, you get some more feel to it. The different, big difference is I'm not cutting hair with a scissor, the hair falls away. Cut hair with a razor, I feel every intention of the blade. To every intention of the blade I feel. 
So it's like crafting your shape, sculpting your shape. This is tipping. Don't to take too much hair out, I'm just tipping. All the way through. Don't let the technique ruin your shape either. In other words, sometimes you like some loose pieces might work nicely. Especially when you're doing a loose haircut. So that's the final section here. Not much gonna come out. I'm looking through the density, so I'm not really even playing with the length right now. Just using the tip of the blade. Over the years, you get to know how much to push in and out of the hair. It's kind of the practice. Hi, Manchester. Hi, Canada. <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> I'm going to go to Manchester. I'm supposed to go this year. Is uh, that confirmed? No. You know why? Because I've got so much going on here. But I've got to go to Manchester and go back to see uh, my English friends. Should take my razor cutting to the UK. Now we've got Brexit coming, I think it might create some opportunities for us with America. You gonna go to England, Kate? Yes, please, let's have, go. Have you been? No, never. Oh, shit. <laughs> you might never come back. You might never come back. Let's go to a Manchester United game. Yeah, you yeah, have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get tickets. <laughs> I got plenty of friends there. Will hook me up. We're fighting on the terraces. Although they're not playing that good. <laughs> so now we're just working, pirouetting these sections round. So when I say pirouetting, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm like spinning around. Ian says he'll get you tickets, just bring your razor. There you go. <laughs> How's it going Ian? Happy New Year, buddy. Hope everything's good. So you see working from the underneath up, lifting that hair up. Just a little tipping through here. Continue that round. You can see the hair fall away. As the hair falls away, you see the sweet spot. Just scooping that up. And soon we'll start looking at the overall shape. Because we're kind of probably 80% finished right now. But soon we'll be rotating around, looking in the mirror, starting to see how the overall shape has uh, parlayed out. And we start to play with product. So a lot of tipping here to kind of keep the length. So we have length there. How long did you have to keep your guard on the razor? <coughs> I didn't. I didn't keep my guard on because Whoa. I didn't like it when I first started. Yeah, when I first started cutting, I didn't like the, the guard. It's more free and easy with no guard. You feel more precise. Plus, my technique's strong. I got good game, baby. <laughs> yeah, my technique's strong, so I don't need to... Uh, thank you. I don't need to put the guard on, but for hairdressers that are getting used to it, if you have the guard on, it's way better because you're, you're flailing around with this thingamajig. All right, so now white teeth have come. Looks really, really hot. Just going out tonight. <laughs> the new year's over. It's party time. Come through the center, I'll lift it up. I'm not gonna wet the hair down anymore. That's my intention anyway. So I wanna pick up the scissors towards the end, do scissor cutting. You can replicate, you can mimic, you can create similar, not the same, with the scissor. It's 
especially when you put all this action in with your razor. The razor creates space so that the hair moves in a different way. And it's very controlled. Hold on over that way. Come over here, do the same thing here. Standing body position, that's how you learn. Classic cutting. I do have classic cutting classes coming up this year. Decided 2020 is definitively the year to kind of teach some classic scissor cutting. We're also looking for new employees, if anyone knows anybody is looking to relocate to New York or wants to build a career with me in my business, and let us know. Tell them to contact me. We're always looking for new people to join the club, join the family here. Do more often or not go back over the cut with your scissors? <clears throat> I'm gonna go over it a little bit right now. I'm gonna, cause you know, I, I mean it looks, like looks exactly as I want it to look. Yeah. And she wears it well, looks mm -hmm. good even if this is behind. It changes the look, even there she can make it look short. So this is the kind of haircut that has loads of different, you know, styles, yeah. She could like put it in a little ponytail, she can pin the back up, so now she's got that, that little bob. Yeah. Also, she looks really good when it's pulled away. You know, she wants to go for like a more slick look. That looks pretty hot too. Mm -hmm. Like a little pompadour type thing with product she could do. You know, so she's got all the options here with this cup. And she's got the look. Yeah, she's got the look. I'm shaking it out, it's just letting the air, the moisture get in. The, the hydro mist is doing the work. It feels the hair, makes the hair feel really good. And you can see what's happening. Just final touches, pour up a blow dryer in it. And then we'll play with some product. I'm just going to come through the edges and just. I like to call that seal the cuticle. Just clean up the cuticle just a little. If there's any loose stray ones, like right there. Yeah, right there. Some loose stray little pieces. I always encourage people when they start razor cutting to uh, go spend the final five minutes of the haircut with, the, uh, with your scissor just to refine. Nikki wants to know, would you do that cut on somebody with much thinner hair? Yeah. Yeah, it's not super thick. Her hair's not super thick. Although I have, you know, made it a lot finer. You can see the translucency. Can you see through that? Mm -hmm. So you can see the razor in starts about where the comb is mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it fades away. The razor's good for fine hair. People always think razor makes the hair thin. No, you make the hair thin. The razor can cut the hair however you want it to cut the hair. And I've got scissors as well as I've got razors, so it's not like I just got one, one way. I got many ways. I got my tools, baby. I'm just gonna look at the transitions in the corners and then it's blow dry time. You're gonna get that record. I'm. G I should pull it up. Yeah. Here's before, guys. Look at this. Oh yeah. And look at this. Beautiful, Lena. Beautiful, Nick. She looks good, doesn't she? She does. It's a special filter. <laughs> yeah. all these filters. Somebody took a picture of me the other day and I looked at the picture I was like oh my god when was that taken? <laughs> and it was like taken on Sunday night 
The filter was almost been like, you know, baby filter. Oh, they baby filtered your face? Baby face. No, yeah, I, I like, want to oh, see. Shit. I want to see. Oh my God, it was so funny. I was like, oh, look at that snow pitch. And I went, hang on a minute. That wasn't no picture. Oh my God. It's got, the technology for that has gotten weird. Yeah, I know. It's like crazy. <laughs> you think you're so much cuter and skinnier, and then in real life, you're like a horror. The ones that make you old, it's That's crazy. Nasty too. Yeah. Too. All right, let's plug in a dryer. Let me find a dryer. Plug one in. Gently dry it. I've got hydro missing. I'm gonna layer some products in there for you so we can play with some products. You might as well. We've got, we got time. We started early today. We've got time. Let's blow away all the loose hairs and then we'll take this off. Behind the camera there, she's eating fish you and chips. You wouldn't even know. The camera wouldn't even know. She's eating fish and chips. <laughs> she's got a bagel and cream cheese, two <laughs> coffees, and a Bloody Mary. That sounds good. That sounds you so good. should have seen her eyes when I said the word Bloody Mary. <laughs> she was like, yeah, baby. All right, so let's get some products. Hydro mist is what we use during the cut. Yes. Now he's grabbing some styling products. Let's have a look and see what I want to do. Not that. Cream wax. Cream wax. Get a little cream wax in the hair. This product here. It's Rojo cream wax. Did you get it? Mm hmm. It's like a light paste. It's a creamy, waxy paste. I'm gonna rub it into my hands. Like this. And the genie comes out of the bottle. So it turns into a clear film. And I'm gonna mush that in. All the way into her hair. So it's a lightweight paste. It's uh, called cream wax. It's a little waxy, a little piecey. You see straight away what happens to the hair. It builds that texture, brings out the cut. Let's work it all the way in. Don't be scared. Learn how to really test drive your product. That's what I say. Test drive your product. When we test our drive products, we put a lot in to see exactly the sweet spot of where you get and where you, you can't, you don't want to be. So you see that just brings out a little bit more. It's got a little bit more memory and a little bit more hold when you're working that product in. Beautiful hair, beautiful girl. Thanks so much. Oh, that's nice. That is. What about Lena? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Old jokes. <laughs> Old jokes. Just working that all the way in. Yeah? 
work it right the way through. See the hair really come to life. What does this mean? What does this say on the back here? Uh, it's a Chinese. Uh, um, never forget where you begin. Ah. Where did you begin? Kate? I love that. In the womb. In the womb. <laughs> In the womb. <laughs> Shout out, mom. <laughs> In the womb, baby. <laughs> A little bit of texture spray. Shake it. This is our dry shampoo. And our texture spray as well. Great for on set. So it just changes the hair completely. And it's, it kind of stiffens the hair, but made, makes it touchable. It's not like heavy and sticky and tacky. It uh, just adds, I would say it adds structure to the hair. Structure that you wouldn't get. It's not a hairspray, but you see how it just gets the hair to just lock together and hold back. So I love this product. It's one of our hero products. It's a dry shampoo. And, uh, and a texture spray at the time. It's called Refinish. You can see, look, I'm just showing you what the product does. Yeah, it's not dumb enough to leave it like that. This gives her more hair. She does now, I've got a lot more hair. Look at that, it's like a light bulb. It's my light bulb collection. Part of the light bulb collection. Part of my Dallas collection. Wow. The, the bigger the hair. Closer to God. <laughs> this is now she's like in a <laughs> death cloud. <laughs> good if you got lasers in your salon. That's a good product. I need another one. Just because we can, we will. So now this one's called dry conditioner. This is a, it's gonna add a little bit of softness. So I got the structure in there, I got the piece in this in there, and now I'm gonna soften it with this product here, dry conditioner. And then I'm gonna pick up the blow dryer. And we'll get the finished look. Learn how to take your time, to, you know, this will probably, we we'll take a few different pictures of it, different styles. We'll style it three different ways. I'll style it back, I'll style it forward. And we'll put the pictures on our Instagram and on the Rojo social. There's not finished until you got the product in. People are loving the cut. Good. So don't forget, I'll be in Charlotte. I'll be in Chicago next weekend. <clears throat> this weekend, I have a class here in New York. Going to learn razor cutting. Come and learn with me. And next weekend, I'll be in Charlotte. And then I'm coming to Long Island. Up close with Nick. On the island. <laughs> Into Long Island, Kate. Is Queens Long Island? I've been, but I get I get it confused. You get confused about what? I think I get it confused with Jersey. I don't know. Oh my God, you are confused. <laughs> you are confused. Confused with Jersey? Or like the Long Island Rail? Or I don't know. I always say I have to go somewhere five times before I remember. Hey, Crystal from Omaha. Omaha? 
Garbo's VP from Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, from yeah. Nebraska. I like Nebraska. So I don't like it too big. I like it a little bit flatter. Looser and piecier. What do you think? Think you like it? Love it. It's just a simple Brooklyn Live, wasn't it? Simple, easy peasy. Look out for this face on our <laughs> new collection. We take some pickies at the end of the month. Actually, next month, because we're, we're still in January. <laughs> I feel like I've been in January like forever. I've been here for forever. There's an explosion of hearts on the side of the screen. Oh good, we like explosions. <laughs> Should we do the red wall reveal? Should we do the red wall? Come on over to the red wall, young lady. How she look on the camera? Gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so that was us. That was us doing our made magical, uh, our magical Lena. Lena the star. Lena is the star of the show. We'll take some pics and then we'll uh, head back to Manhattan. What do you think? Sounds good. Thanks for, Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>